This is this is this is this is this is the 2014 Off Road Evolution JK Experience presented by Nitto Needle Nitto Tire Tire Nitto Tire. More than any other place in the lower 48 states, the Pacific Northwest is known for being one of the wettest parts of this country as it receives well over 100 inches of rain a year. Because of this, it is also known for being one of the greenest as the mountain ranges in this area are blanketed with towering rows of Douglas fir. In 2014, it would be here in this beautiful corner of the country that the off-road evolution JK experience presented by Nitto Tire would take 22 built-up Jeep JK Wranglers and 46 enthusiastic participants from around the world and put their built-up rigs to the test. Of course, for our purposes, this was a great chance to meet up with old friends and to make a few new ones, doing what we love doing most. Thank you for coming out for the uh, 2014 JK Experience presented by Nitto Tire. Beware of friends bearing gifts. Oh, yay, finally! <laughs> you know how many times I've tried to win these things? <laughs> So this is, uh, is this, now is it officially day one? I think it's day officially one. day one. So day one, 2014, JK Experience presented by Nitto, except I forgot the off-road evolution part, so. <laughs> 2014 off-road evolution JK Experience presented by Nitto. Rock on. Remember to hydrate. <laughs> To kick off our first day of the JK Experience, we would be joined by a friend of Mel's, and he would be taking us out to one of the best wheeling spots this side of Seattle. My name is Rich Moore. Mel sent me a text and asked if I could help out, lead you guys through Walker Valley. I hope you like it. Located just east of the town of Mount Vernon, the Walker Valley ORV Park is a premier off-road destination filled with tight trees, slick mud, nasty roots, and big rocks. And for only $10 a day, you can have all the fun you want, but you'll need to get through their tight and rocky gatekeeper first. And just like that, we were up and on the rocks. <laughs> As it would seem, this obstacle was just a bit too big for a JK running 37s. Look out! Jeep coming through! I think he said a little skinny pedal. There are about 10 miles of trails that meander their way through the Walker Valley Park. 
and it doesn't take long before you're dropping it back into low range again. The sun's even coming out. Oh, yeah. That actually nice. happens here? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Only for a second. Yeah. You might want to video yeah, all of that. <laughs> oh, look, it's going away. You see? <laughs> Compared to last year, how's Rescue One doing this time around? Well, so so far, the Southern California uh, Weight Loss Clinic has done her wonders. The 3,354 pounds she lost has been uh, uh, exceptional when it comes to actual trail use for Rescue One, so we're very happy. So far, so good. After a well-needed lunch break, it was time to get back out and get it on. Because you're sure to find obstacles like this on the JK Experience, one of the minimum requirements to attend is to have a good set of rocker guards. The gatekeepers at Walker Valley are designed to help keep people out of trouble. Essentially, if you can't get past them, you really shouldn't be playing here. And while it was easy enough to get in through the first one, getting back out through the second took a bit more effort. After seeing this, I think there were more than just a few in our group who were happy they had a soft time. Whoa! Whoa, that thing flexed! That thing completely bowed in! A good half inch! Yeah? Yeah, I looked real fast to make sure Lisa wasn't around. <laughs> I suppose we should have seen this one coming, but of course, hindsight is always 2020. Or should I say, a bit more breezy now. Okay, it's time to stop fooling around and just climb over these rocks.
choosing to use brains over brawn, Jim decided to take a different approach, literally. I think I'm going to try and back, back around the post. We're going to see how it goes. It worked. They're awesome. Thank you. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll just show you how awesome these are. Oh. Pop it in your face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Back at the hotel, we caught up with Truck Light, who was having some issues with their JK and had to pull out early today. Oh, they're just checking. I had a little problem uh, shifting. They thought it might be here, the differential. It doesn't seem to be, so now they're going to check the transfer case. Uh, transfer case, it feels like the chain is slipping inside of it. So we're going to probably swap out a, a transfer case and uh, get them going again. So we're uh, gonna have them roll down to the Northridge shop in Silverdale. Uh, we're gonna have one of our techs come in tomorrow, uh, pull a case out of a, another vehicle that's there, uh, and swap it into his rig to get him back on the road. It'll all work out. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> okay. As far as our other casualty of the day goes. This is Gorilla Tape and Cardboard. <laughs> what are we gonna do with this? Uh, we're gonna make a window, okay? So here's the idea. But. Is it a window something you see through? Um, it's going to be a door. It, that doesn't open. open. <laughs> so you're making a wall. We're making a wall. Yes, I, li I like that. After making a few precision cuts and applying just a little Gorilla Tape. <laughs> the wall is awesome. Look at this. Well, that was almost wiped out. It really wasn't. <laughs> Our second day of the JK experience would start off with a road trip that would take us to the east and into the beautiful Cascades. I create river, lake, river valley. After a well-needed pit stop, we continued on our way down the backside of the Cascades and then headed south until we reached our destination of the day, the Moses Lake Sand Dunes. Back on the road again, we started a long trek to the west and followed the setting sun until we arrived in the town of Clay Ellum, our home for the night. 